What's up YouTube, this is Shuttleboy and I'm back with yet another video. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Golf Wang Wolf Hat and is it worth the hype? So let's get right into it, guys. All right, so today I got with me the Golf Wang Wolf Hat, obviously known for being on the cover of the Wolf album from Tyler the Creator. And yeah, that's what it's pretty much known for, um, being on the front of the cover of that album. And he wore it a bunch in other promotional things and just out casually. But uh, the big thing to remember is this is what kind of represents uh, the Wolf album, I would say. Um, the coloring, too, just kind of represents the cover as well, the color of the hat. Um, and yeah, today I want to go over this hat I've noticed on secondary markets. It goes for a decent amount. It's pretty hard to find as well. Um, so I want to talk about if it's really worth uh, the whole hype around this hat um, because I know a lot of people, including myself, uh, would regard this hat as one of the uh, biggest grails for a Golf Wang fan would be the wolf hat um, and we got a couple examples here today as well not just this hat um, but I wanted to also bring in uh, one of the G new era hats uh, the G new era hat that was uh, basically for the bummers collection there was a couple different colors of this it's a fitted and then we also have another snapback uh, which is the collegiate donut logo one a couple different examples here uh, Just so then we can really just discuss do we think that this is on the level or worth the price? Considering that I mean we have to keep in mind here uh, that uh, Like for instance the new era one doesn't really have much of a Significance in Tyler's history compared to these two but first let's get into the detail of this hat Obviously you can see here we just have wolf stitched in the aerial font but not the aerial bold or black font and yeah it's just embroidered looks really clean there's not much to it pretty simple uh, and then we have a lighter blue on the top here and then the bill we have that classic green we open it up here uh, then we can see on the top here we got a little hit of green um, and then the whole Surrounding part is blue till we hit the back here. Uh, we have some white hits uh, Starting with the odd future logo here uh, That's supposed to represent the starter logo for like starter jackets and stuff like that. Uh, I think that's a nice touch uh, I like the play on the logo. I always thought that was really cool another really nice touch that I feel like kind of gets lost in all the other hats of the modern uh, golf hats you don't see details like this as much I feel like and that is the kill cat that is stitched on the side I always thought that was an amazing touch especially because it's you still have this logo up here But they went the extra mile and threw another logo on the back here uh, Then we obviously have that snapback closure. That's just the typical like plastic material and if we go inside the hat here uh, we have Odd Future Wolfgang Kill Em All all over on the liner here. Uh, obviously all black interior, we should keep that in mind, but a nice little touch here is we do have that Odd Future Wolfgang Kill Em All Antichrist logo, and if you flip it over, we have OF, and then we have 100% Cotton Do Not Fap, the classic thing we always come to love with older golf. I will say when it comes to this hat, uh, this does really embody all of what old golf is. So if we go to another older hat here, uh, like I said, this is the collegiate logo uh, that he used to wear this a ton as well. Um, but uh, they have like a felt overlay that they stitched on for this logo. I think that is a very nice touch. Uh, the stitching on this is just right on point. Super nice. Uh, just full out green that odd future starter logo and then the liner is very reminiscent obviously of what we just saw with the other one the odd future tagging there which under it still has the same thing so then looking at a newer hat this came out 2016 i want to say and yeah we got the embroidered g looking real nice this is a new era you got to keep that in mind this is not made by golf um, technically um, we got the new era logo on the side Then one of my favorite aspects is we do have a little golf guy uh, to look like the major league baseball logo stitched on the back super nice touch Obviously all red. This is low crown uh, Fitted so 
I always really like low crown fitted hats to be honest. Uh, and this is the liner, just a typical 5950 new era hat. Um, and then uh, you got the new era stuff on here. So you don't get any of the uh, do not fap or anything on here because it is just the typical new era stuff. Uh, you got the sizing label and then a nice touch. I don't know why, but I do think this looks really nice. So the golf logo, yellow box logo. After looking at all the details of all of these hats, I think you can all get a pretty good idea of the quality of them. I would say uh, materials wise, uh, they're all pretty much the same. Uh, obviously um, with the donut logo and then we with the wolf one, it's pretty much identical. They're both very comparative to the new era though, I would say. Uh, so there's nothing you're really gaining from quality. I feel like golf is known for making really nice hats in general, um, but I think with the newer hats that's been something that's kind of been lost in the sauce lately um, where they're not really doing as much uh, with the whole detailing to the hat I mean if we really go look at this here uh, with just the detailing of just seeing OF on here just seeing this logo on there the do not fap on there and then just having both of these stitched on the back I mean that's really nice touches that just make you feel like you got something worth your money just having different color variations and different aspects of the hat uh, that does a lot for it so all in all do I think the wolf hat is worth the hype I mean we have seen prices pretty crazy ones I've seen some prices on grailed for well over a hundred dollars for a snapback hat and I'm sure I don't even know the surface as far as the price pricing for this. Is it worth that? I gotta say, it really depends on the person. I would probably have to say the safer bet of going with this answer is no, it is not worth the hype. Um, but if you're a big fan of Wolf, if Wolf is like something that is very nostalgic to you, it's something that uh, you grew up with and it's the thing that you really associate Tyler with, then I gotta say that it might be worth that for you. Because I mean, for me for instance, Wolf is my favorite album from Tyler. Uh, I love that album to death. It is what got me into Tyler um, and just, I always wanted to own this hat. This is a hat that uh, for me, as a Tyler fan, how I grew up being a Tyler fan, uh, this is something that I needed to own. But I mean, if you're a newer Tyler fan, I could see this not really being worth it at all because you might not have that connection to that album like I do. So yeah, it really just depends on what kind of fan you are when you came into the Tyler the Creator Golf Wang gang. And yeah, let me know down below what you're thinking of this hat, guys. Let me know down below what you're thinking of all Golf Wang hats in general. If you like the details of the newer hats, the older hats, what are you thinking of that? And please hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video as well, guys. And please subscribe if you haven't already for more Golf Wang, more sneakers, more clothing, more Shuttle Boy. And this is Shuttle Boy, guys. And I'm out, guys. Peace. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Is this your first Shuttle Boy video? Have you been there before? If not, I really recommend you subscribing. If you really like all this golf wang stuff, this is what this channel is about. If you like these sneakers, you definitely should see some more. We go over a ton of golf wang here, whether it be the latest pickups or golf wang grails. Definitely come here to subscribe and watch more Shuttle Boy because everything here has to do with golf wang, sneakers, clothing, and more Shuttle Boy.